What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and Masters of the Universe Revelation has been an absolute disaster for Kevin Smith and for Netflix. After Kevin Smith lied about what this show was about, he lied to fans for a year and a half, tried to blame everybody else, said these people are lying, these people are lying, I'm telling you the truth. But no, the fact was that Kevin Smith lied and this was a Tila show. This was a show that was all about Tila, while they try to subvert your expectations with He-Man. Well, now Kevin Smith, maybe he's trying to be more upfront with people. Maybe he's trying to let them know. I'm not sure the reasons, but now the story that he's telling is about Revelations Part 2, and that it's going to shift into a story about yet another female character. Kevin Smith reveals second half of Masters of the Universe Revelation shifts into an Evil Lynn story. Yes, it wasn't enough that Part 1 was entirely about Tila. Now, evidently, Part 2 is going to shift into an Evil Lynn story. Another female character, because Kevin Smith thinks it's so interesting that the women who have been kept down by the men, that their stories get to come to the forefront. We're going to listen to what he says about this. This is going to be a disaster. I don't think people are going to watch this. I don't know why they would. After some people were tricked by Kevin Smith, after he lied to them about what it actually was about, why would people come back? They, it fell out of the top 10 so fast because people did not want to watch this. I just showed you the Rotten Tomatoes score, which has been manipulated heavily. They have been deleting scores. They have been freezing scores. They have been removing scores that people are putting out there if it's too negative. And they can still only get it to 38%. Pathetic from Rotten Tomatoes. But let's take a look at this story from Bounding in the Comics. I don't know what happened to this image here. This is what it was. I don't know where it went. But anyway, image not found. It's no longer available. Whatever. Masters of the Universe Revelation showrunner Kevin Smith has revealed that following a first half centered around Tila's quest to retrieve the two halves of the broken power sword, the second part of his recently released Netflix revival shifts into an Evil Lynn story. Smith teased at Evelyn's expanded role during a recent Netflix-hosted Q&A session in response to being asked, is Evelyn actually evil? Now, this goes on, he goes on for maybe a minute or two. I want to listen to the entire thing, at least the part that we're talking about, the relevant part about Evelyn, so you guys can hear Kevin Smith for yourself. I apologize in advance for having to look and listen to Kevin Smith. Eva Lynn, absolutely one of my favorite characters, not just because Lena Headey gives what I feel is like an award-worthy performance bringing this character to life, but also because we mirror Tila's journey with Eva Lynn's journey as well. So there he's kind of setting the stage, right? Uh, Tila's journey, because of course, this the show is about Tila. Make no mistake, it is about Tila's journey. Tila being so, feeling so left out, even though Prince Adam has died. Prince Adam has literally sacrificed himself for Eternia. She makes it all about her. That's what this story is about. It is about Tila. Uh, now he's about to talk about the women of Masters of the Universe. You're talking about two women who have been in the shadows of very powerful male characters since the inception of the franchise. And Tila, you know, fought side by side with He-Man, definitely more of, of his equal. Evelyn, though, was always Skeletor's subservient. What happens in a world where the person who helps identify that character, in the case of Tila, He-Man, in the case of Evelyn, Skeletor, what happens if those two figures are removed from their lives? Who do they get to be? And of course, that's what the part one of this was about. It was about Tila and Evil, and they even had a conversation talking about how they used to focus way too much on the men in their lives. The entire point of it is to kind of emasculate and lift, emasculate the men and lift these women up on a pedestal. That's what this story was about. And evidently, according to Kevin Smith in part two, we're going to get more of that. We're going to delve more into that story. And I'm sure that Eva Lynn's just going to be like, we're going to want to feel sympathy for her. How she's just being subjugated by Skeletor. Yeah, of course, Skeletor is evil. But you know what? So is Eva Lynn. But she can't be evil. Not in this show. Right, Kevin? You can't have a woman who's actually evil. And as we see in these first five episodes, there's goodness in Evil Lynn, as Orko points out. Turns out nobody's born evil. But in the next five episodes, kids, 
it shifts into an evil end story that is so compelling absolutely fascinating satisfying heartbreaking it became my favorite part of masters of the universe revelation no they didn't call me evil i added that part later so there you have it, Kevin Smith in his own words telling you that part two is going to shift into an evil Lynn story. And of course, like I said, she's got, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna feel for her, you wanna feel compassion for her. She's not really evil, she's good. It's just the man in her life, Skeletor, he's the reason that she's actually been evil this entire time. And this comes on top of everything else, right? This comes on top of Kevin Smith saying if you don't if you think that women in something makes it woke, you're just going to have to deal with it. Nobody thinks that. It's the way that you're going about this, Kevin Smith. It's the way that you are suppressing the male characters, emasculating the male characters, literally killing them off, and putting all the women in the forefront. That, combined with what we are hearing, what we have in this article from Tiffany Smith, who plays Andra, I play the first black woman in Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe Revelation where she reveals, I don't know if she was supposed to reveal that, but where she reveals that for her audition for Andra, she had to say the words, I have the power. She had to say those iconic words. A lot of people speculating that she is going to pick up the sword of power, that she may literally use the power of Grayskull. She may be the next champion. That's what people are speculating. What happens, you know, remains to be seen. He-Man Masters of the Universe was primarily a male-focused franchise. And they're taking that and turning it on top of its head and saying, if you don't like it, that's your problem. No, it's, it's your problem, Kevin Smith. You can say you don't care about the backlash. You don't care about what people are saying. Netflix doesn't care. Nobody believes that. You wouldn't have had to go on your channel on a live stream and disable the chat if you really didn't care. If you really thought it was just a minority, a small minority of people that aren't relevant. They do care because this was barely in the top 10 for any time at all. It immediately fell off and got taken over by reruns of stuff that's on Netflix all the time. This did not have the impact that they were looking for. This did not have the fan reaction they were looking for. So they do care about what people think. They do care about what people are watching and if people are going to stay subscribed to Netflix because of this. Don't let Kevin Smith fool you into thinking that, well, it's not even worth talking about. It's not even worth complaining about. That is a ploy because they don't want you bad-mouthing this. Kevin Smith, whether he's trying to be more honest or whatever, he's revealed that part two is going to be focused on an Evil Lynn story that mirrors Tila's journey. Be really nice if we got some more He-Man and fucking Skeletor in a Masters of the Universe show, wouldn't it? But uh, I guess we'll wait and see. I don't think a lot of people are going to watch this, but we are going to react to the backlash that happens when part two comes out. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.